okay so in the last class we introduced the planar graphs recall let's see some example then you can better recall it so consider the following graph and it is planar if we can draw it without edge crossing so you can see that there are two edge crossings here but we can easily draw them without edge crossing and these are the two different ways to draw them without edge crossings the next we discussed is the concept of the faces so when we draw the graph without edge crossings which means when we draw a plane graph or a planar embedding of a graph then it partition the graph into different regions one is the exterior region and others are the interior regions we call them faces and then there comes the Euler formula which says that the number of vertices minus number of edges plus number of faces is equal to 2 so it's always very easy to compute the number of the vertices and edges and from there using the Euler formula we can easily compute the number of the faces <coughs> just remember that we only use the Euler formula for plane graphs so today we start by introducing the concept of maximal planar graph so a planar graph is maximal planar if you add two non-adjacent vertices which means if you make them adjacent the graph becomes non-planar it would be clear with an example but before that let's try an exercise so try to draw a maximal planar graph with six vertices try to see that how many edges and regions it has please do try it by yourself i am also drawing one of the maximal planar graph so order 6 is required so this is one of the maximal planar graph and you can quickly try to count the number of the edges to count the number of the edges the best idea is to compute the degree so degree of 2 is 1 2 3 4 5 then 4 then 3 then 5 then 3 and then 4 so 5 plus 4 9 12 16 and 24 it means the number of the edges are 12 similarly you can quickly try to compute the regions also and you will find that there are eight regions the most important thing to observe about maximal planar graph is that it's all of its faces are triangular all the interior as well as the exterior and the logic is very simple if there is a face of length more than three for example let's say rectangle you can always insert an edge while maintaining planarity and therefore the smallest face size is 3 now if you see this graph and if you try to add one more edge then you will see that the graph becomes non-planar for example 1 and 5 are known are not adjacent if you make them adjacent then there comes the crossing okay so remember that when we talk of the maximal planar graph all of its faces are triangular the next very very important result is if g is a maximal planar graph then the number of edges are always 3p minus 6 think over it and tell me how we can prove it so if it is a maximal planar graph then all the faces are triangular yes let us consider a very simple example k4 so all the faces have length 3 if i, I want to compute the number of the edges then the number of the edges are 3 times r because each region has 3 edges but at the same time you can see that an edge is always shared 
between two regions for example if i talk about this edge then it is shared by these two regions if i talk about this edge then it is shared by interior face and exterior face and therefore each edge is counted twice which means that the number of the edges are q is equal to 3r by 2 or i can say 3r is equal to 2 now i have the euler formula if i substitute the value of r into the euler formula then that gives me the relation between number of the vertices and the number of the edges okay so now this is a very important result remember that a maximal planar graph has always 3p minus 6 edges one more interesting result it says that a maximal planar bipartite graph has 2p minus 4 edges okay now if we think of a bipartite graph then it cannot have an old cycle so triangle is not possible yes but cycle of length 4 are always possible and that is the least length cycle which means that instead of the relation which we got 2q is equal to 3r now we will get 2q is equal to 4r okay because in the maximal bipartite graph if you try it then the length of all the faces is 4 again by substituting into the Euler formula you will have the required result the next result says that if a graph is planar then it has at most 3p minus 6 edges it means that if q is greater than 3p minus 6 edges if q is greater than 3p minus 6 then the graph is non planar but remember that if q is less than or less than equal to 3p minus 6 then it does not guarantee that the graph is planar or non planar with less than 3p minus 6 edges also graph can be planar can be non planar we will discuss the example at a later stage so the result is if it is planar it has at most 3p minus 6 edges which means if it has more than 3p minus 6 edges then it is for sure non planar again a very interesting result which says that every planar graph contains a vertex of degree 5 or less please do try to understand the question it is not claiming about all the vertices but it is saying that it must have a vertex whose degree is 5 or less whatever be the size of the graph let's say the graph whatever be the order of the graph let's say it has 1 million vertices but still if it is planar it must have one vertex whose degree is 5 or less we can easily prove it by contradiction which means that let us assume that the degree of all the vertices so degree of all the vertices is greater than 5 or i can say that degree of all the vertices is greater than equal to 6 yes then the sum of the degrees so degree sum is greater than equal to 6n or I can say degree sum is 2q so q is greater than equal to 3n or 3p if I call it p but I have seen that if which is greater than 3p minus 6 which means that just from the previous result since q is greater than 3p minus 6 it is non-planar so I started with a contradiction and reached to a contradiction because it is given that the graph is planar. So remember this result, very interesting result. And then there comes the last question which says that prove or disprove K5 and K33 are non-planar. So we have currently seen that if we can prove that q is greater than 3p minus 6 for a graph then it is non-planar you can quickly try to compute the number of the edges in k5 because 3p minus 6 is 3 multiplied by 5 minus 6 which is 9 
but k5 which is n n minus 1 by 4 so 5 multiply 4 by 4 which is 10 so 10 is greater than 9 and therefore it is non planar if you think of k33 then k33 you can see that it has 9 edges and 3p minus 6 it has p is equal to 6 so 6 3 is 18 minus 6 which is 12 which does not hold but you have to recall that the maximal bipartite graph has at most or uh, has 2p minus 4 edges so instead of 3p minus 6 i have to consider 2p minus 6 which is 8 so 9 is greater than 8 and therefore the graph is non-planar so proof is quite easy and that's all from today's class in the next class we will see a necessary and sufficient condition for proving the graph is planar or non-planar thank you